I came across two Windows 11 upgrade issues today. I'm calling this a forced upgrade to Windows 11. What I mean by that is you come in one morning and find out, whoa, your computer is Windows 11. You didn't know it was coming. You didn't, uh, had, didn't have any notice. I'm concerned about my clients in their offices coming in one morning, not even being aware that there is a Windows 11 or, or what's different about it. And they come in one morning and, and see that their computer looks and feels different. I don't want that happening yet. We're not thor thoroughly tested against all the different software products and, and printers and such. So I'm not happy about this. Now I'm going to show two computers here that I have now. Unfortunately, I didn't have the foresight earlier today to record this or capture it on video. This computer that I'm showing right here had a message right around this area saying this computer is ready for Windows 11. And right next to that around this area was one of these blue links that said stay on Windows 10. It looked to me like it was about to upgrade. In fact, down here in the notification area at the bottom, when the, when the computer's ready to install updates, we'll typically see a yellow dot or a, or a red dot down there indicating the computer needs to be restarted to install an update. Well, there was a dot down there. Now, I think it was blue, might have been green, but, but anyway, it was a dot. It was not the normal uh, color. But this indicated to me that when the computer is next restarted, it was going to upgrade to Windows 11. I did not want that to happen on this computer. I clicked on that link to say stay on Windows 10. Now I'm going to switch over to the other computer that I'm connected to. It's a totally different issue on this one. It has this message. This PC doesn't currently meet all the system requirements for Windows 11. Well, the thing is, is that I recently purchased this computer, so it would specifically be able to install Windows 11. Now, if we go to this PC Health Check, I already have PC Health Check installed, so I'm not going to click to reload it. I'm going to press the Windows key, and then up here at the top, I see PC Health Check. So I'll just click on that, and that'll open it to find out what is wrong with this computer. I'll click on this Check Now button, and it's going to do a quick scan, and it's going to tell me what it thinks is wrong with this computer. This doesn't meet Windows 11 system requirements. Down here says the processor clock speed needs to be one gigahertz or faster. And it's telling me right here that the clock speed on this computer is 0.8 gigahertz. That is not true. I'll come down here to the start button, right click on it and come up to system. And then we see right up here that the clock speed on this computer is 2.4 gigahertz. Last I checked, 2.4 is greater than 1, and it should have been able to work. So that's all I've got here. I hope that was useful. Have a great day. Catch you later. Goodbye.